I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. What is energy to you? What gets you up in the morning? What gets you going? Probably something caffeinated, right? I'm right there with you. I'm a coffee drinker, and for many years I had way too much of the stuff because I thought caffeine was energy. I got a better idea. Forget caffeine. What if there was a natural supplement that provided real energy without the crash of caffeine or even the jitters that caffeine gives you? There is. It's called coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10, and CoQ10 is the primary fuel for your mitochondria, the energy furnaces inside all your cells. CoQ10 is fat-soluble, which means it's absorbed in the fat cells, and this is why you'll find most CoQ10 supplements come in the form of soft gels where the CoQ10 is mixed into a fat base already for you. There are some dry capsule CoQ10 options out there, and if you get one of these, you need to take it with some form of dietary fat. It can be butter, it can be coconut oil, it can be nuts and seeds, etc. But you need to take it this way for it to absorb properly. I say... If possible, skip the dry forms and take it as a soft gel or a fat-based liquid. If you have trouble digesting fat, taking your CoQ10 with a digestive enzyme high in lipase, which digests fat, can really be helpful for you. CoQ10 is an antioxidant, and it's primarily good for keeping cholesterol fluid and running through the bloodstream, as it always should. And this is what we call good cholesterol. We'll cover cholesterol more in depth in another video, but believe me, for now, cholesterol is your friend, not your enemy. The body's most important organs, the brain, the heart, the liver, the kidneys, etc., require the most energy and consequently utilize the most CoQ10. CoQ10 allows the heart to keep beating, and the heart uses CoQ10 first, so this is why CoQ10 is often thought of as a cardiovascular supplement. But again, every cell in your body benefits from CoQ10, hence its official name, ubiquinone, the root word being ubiquitous or prevalent, occurring everywhere. If you take a CoQ10 dose and don't feel any energy, you likely didn't take enough. To put it another way, your heart used all the CoQ10, which is great, but taking a larger dose replenishes the heart and ensures that there's enough CoQ10 for the remainder of your cells. The dose you need to take is individual to your lifestyle. So, for example, like with me, I live a very active lifestyle, and I personally had to take 800 milligrams of CoQ10 before I felt any energy from it. And this is just because my heart was very likely depleted of the CoQ10 so much. CoQ10 is produced naturally in the body, but production slows as we age, and ironically, the older we get, the more we need CoQ10. Think of it this way. As teenagers, we're CoQ10 factories. We're pumping it out in enormous amounts, and this is one reason teens often have the energy to stay up until 2 a.m., you know, get up at 6 a.m. the next day, eat all manner of high-calorie junk food with little to no consequence to their energy levels, and, you know, if you fast forward about 40 to 50 years, you really can't do that anymore. And so one reason is a steady drop in natural CoQ10 levels, which seems to begin around age 25 and really accelerates when you hit 40. People attribute a slump in energy to a natural consequence of getting old when one reason for it is it's just low CoQ10 levels. It's, just, it's such an easy thing to fix. Dietary sources of CoQ10 include fish and organ meats, beef heart, liver, etc., animal parts that most people don't eat too much of anymore. And anyway, the CoQ10 get, you get from these foods is quite low compared to what you get in a CoQ10 supplement. You should take CoQ10 in the morning. Some people advise taking it at nighttime as most cell division occurs during sleep, but I say take it in the morning to utilize its energy benefits. Taking too much CoQ10 could prevent you from sleeping, even though you'll like feel fantastic. So the next time you need to drive all night, ditch the caffeine and the no-dose pills for a large dose of CoQ10 instead. It feels much better. And even though CoQ10 comes primarily from animal sources in food, there are definitely some vegan and vegetarian supplement forms of it available, so there's no reason for anyone not to take it. 
Because CoQ10 is the energy of your mitochondria, I like to think of CoQ10 as the gas for your car. And if CoQ10 is gas, I like to think of it as regular unleaded. That's right. As awesome as CoQ10 is, there's an even better form of it that I call Super Premium Unleaded Plus, and we'll discuss that form in a future video. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Jason Carter. Stay healthy.